When performing multiplication with mixed numbers, the first step is to rewrite everything as an improper fraction. So for 4 and 2 thirds, we'll have 3 times 4, that's 12, plus 2. So we'll have 14 thirds times, we'll rewrite 6 as 6 over 1. And now we want to simplify before we multiply, so we'll look for any common factors between any numerator and any denominator. And notice that here, 3 and 6 have a common factor of 3. So just to show this, I'm going to rewrite 14 over 3 times I'll rewrite 6 as 3 times 2, and now we can see the common factor of 3, and 3 over 3 would simplify to 1. And now we can multiply, so we'll multiply the numerators together. 14 times 2 equals 28, and our denominator would be 1, so this product is equal to 28. Let's go ahead and take a look at a second example. And again, we'll first convert these to improper fractions. So we have 4 times 6, that's 24, plus 3. So we'll have 27 fourths times, here we'll have 3 times 2, that's 6, plus 1. We'll have 7 thirds. And again, we want to simplify before we multiply. And notice that 3 and 27 have a common factor of 3. And if you have any difficulty identifying common factors, I highly recommend writing every numerator and denominator in prime factored form. But here we can probably recognize there's a common factor of 3 because 9 times 3 is equal to 27. So let's just go ahead and write 27 as 9 times 3. And again, now we can see that the 3 would simplify out. And now we can multiply. 9 times 7 is 63. Our denominator would be 4 times 1, or 4. Now these two numbers don't have any common factors. So it is a simplified fraction, but it is an improper fraction. So this may be perfectly okay for your final answer, but let's go ahead and review how to convert this to a mixed number. Remember, a fraction bar means division, so this means 63 divided by 4. There's 1, 4, and 6, and there are 5, 4s, and 23. We have a remainder of 3. So 63 fourths is equivalent to 15. And then for the fraction part, we put the remainder over the divisor. So this will be 15 and 3 fourths. Either answer is correct. One's in fraction form or improper fraction form. And here we have a mixed number. We'll take a look at two more examples in part two.